Yo, what's going on guys? Yonari Gogeta here, and uh, today the Resident Evil 4 remake trailer was announced. Uh, I feel like most people knew this was coming at some point because there have been leaks and rumors about it for a while, but it's nice to see that it's finally, you know, been revealed. And it looks pretty nice, so um, I'm going to go through, do some analysis, and show you some things that you may have missed on your first watch through, but... If you want to see more analysis videos or, you know, reviews like I make on my channel, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm not going to take any more of your time. Uh, let's go. The first thing you see in the trailer is at 45 seconds, and it is a scene with Leon and the president. So the main storyline of Resident Evil 4 is that the president sent Leon on an adventure pretty much to retrieve Ashley from the cult of Los Illuminados. And that's pretty much his whole mission. So this is presumably him talking to the president about his mission and what he is going to be doing. There are also a bunch of uh, different scenes where Ashley is running throughout the village. You can see her new design. And what is kind of interesting is that you see her alone without Leon. So it kind of makes me wonder if they're doing something a little deeper with Ashley this time around instead of her just kind of being a lap dog that kind of follows Leon around. So. Uh, we'll have to see what comes of that. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it, but either way, the game looks very great. So uh, I'm very interested to see what comes of it. Around a minute and 10 seconds in, you can see Leon walking to the very first house. And the reason I know it's the first house is because he still has his jacket on and he's still in the village. So it's not like there's a very big window for that to be. But what's interesting is that it's a lot more gray and dark than the original because in the original, the art style kind of focused on a brown art style. So I'll put like two comparisons side by side here. You can kind of see it's a pretty big difference, but it's also still pretty faithful. So I'm not really, you know, upset about it. Obviously graphics develop and art styles change, but I feel like they did a pretty good job here. And at around 1 minute and 15 seconds into the trailer, you can also see a over, or not an overhead, but an overshot, I guess you, you could say, of the village. And it's actually pretty, pretty damn close to the original. The fences are still there. The houses are still pretty worn down. The fences, the big ass like tower with the ladder in it. Um, it's all still there. The fire is still there. So... It's nice to see that they stayed faithful to the village. At one minute and 20 seconds in, you see Louise, you can hear his voice actor, and you see the Red Nine. Uh, Louise's uh, new model and outfit looks pretty nice, actually. I think it looks very, very nice, very flashy. I think it fits his character pretty well. The Red Nine looks amazing, so I'm pretty excited. The Red Nine was always the pistol I personally used, and it's a fan favorite weapon, so uh, great to see that return. And starting from a minute and 22 seconds in, you get to you get to get a an idea of what the Ganados will look like. So there's the villager Ganados, which I will show on screen. Uh, they look pretty similar and different at the same time, if you ask me. So I think it's a pretty nice change. It's not too far. It's not too much. And it's not too little at the same time. So I think it's a pretty, pretty nice uh, middle ground. And also, throughout the trailer, they show a couple of scenes where there's the cultist in the castle. So that's nice to see. They look pretty damn close to the original. Pretty much the exact same, really. So that's great. Um, you can also see the, the cultist symbol on this little, like, tarp or towel thing. So uh, just a nice little detail. Now, near a minute and 28 seconds is where a bunch of things start going off. Uh, they show a lot of teasers, so at a minute and 28 seconds, there is Leon in the boat after the Del Lago fight, and the reason I say after the fight is because he is kind of like laying down in the boat, slumped out. So that's probably after he cuts the rope off of his leg after Del Lago is defeated, and he almost sinks Leon down with him. So that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm taking from that. At 1 minute and 28 seconds in, we get to see the first shot of Ada. This is the scene after the dog maze when you have to get the the little tablets for the door and she uh, jumps you for the first time. The main thing to note here is that it is the same model as the Resident Evil 2 remake and she is not wearing a red dress. She is wearing something more akin to her Resident Evil 6 outfit. But personally, just from this little scene here, I think she looks very well designed. Uh, yeah. Uh, she looks great. <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know what else to say. 
after that you see the big cheese uh he's pretty similar to his original design except he looks a lot more i guess built he looks really intimidating i'm not gonna lie he also has a hat on so you know that's all that makes all the difference in the world um if i had to take a guess on where this scene is at this is probably after chapter 1-2 um, after you open that door, when you get the insignia key for the church, when he grabs Leon by the throat and uh, starts tossing him around. At 1 minute 30, this is Leon probably fighting the parasites inside of his body after Sadler injected him with the, uh, the parasite. Um, this looks like it's probably in the nightmare scene after the Delago fight when he passes out in that little shed or cabin thing. Uh, it's a much darker style. Like I said, they're going for a more like dark, realistic style. I think they could be going for a, a horror, a much more, you know, horror focused scene here, which is nice because that scene was pretty terrifying as a kid to me personally. So it's nice to see that they're doing something with that as well. Starting around one minute, 35 seconds, we get to hear Sadler's voice actor as well as his new design. It's pretty faithful to the original. He still has his weird little organy staff. Uh, he's still pretty intimidating just the way he walks. So uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice that they showed this. And then starting from a minute and 50 ish seconds, you get the scene with Leon in the car at the very beginning of the game about his speech of the Raccoon City incident and him looking at the picture of Ashley. Um, again, it's a very a uh, dark style it's more you know grayish instead of brownish like the ps2 was or the gamecube was more like uh you can see in this comparison here that it's you know a lot different obviously but it still looks amazing uh leon's outfit still looks pretty decent it's the same model as the resident 2 remake uh, same haircut all that so yeah i mean that's pretty much it uh, a few things to note is that they did not show the merchant but I mean, if they make a Resident Evil 4 without the Merchant, then hell froze over, so uh, don't really worry about that that much. Um, I'm sure he'll make an appearance in the future for a, um, a gameplay trailer, presumably. But what we can take in is that it's looking pretty faithful to the original, but obviously there's not a whole lot to take in right now, so we'll have to wait for more information and details and gameplay and all that, so... Um, that's pretty much all I took from this trailer. Um, so if you guys notice anything that I didn't, please, uh, leave a comment. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, uh, maybe subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, no hard feelings if you don't, obviously, but that's okay. So hope you all have a good day and I will see you all in the future.